back to the second instalment of the Peter Feely experience. Slight change of plan from what was planned for this show. Tonight I'm going to focus on another garment from my own personal collection and this is a rather special one as well. I actually purchased this or acquired this garment about a year ago to the day. So we will be focusing on the kaftan that was worn here by Peter Daltrey in his British psychedelic band Kaleidoscope in the summer of 1967. This is the very same kaftan that Peter Daltrey wore on the cover of the famous British psychedelic album Tangerine Dream which was released in the summer of 1967. Peter himself wore this kaftan for the photo shoot for the album cover. The photo shoot was carried out in the spring of 1967 at the Adam and Eve Muse Studios in Kensington. The kaftan itself is of an Indian cotton. These became very popular in the mid to late 1966 period. As you can see, this, this particular kaftan is in extremely good condition. The colours are still as vibrant as what they were when Peter purchased this kaftan back in 1967. The kaftan itself was either acquired in Granny Takes a Trip or Hong On You. Both boutiques were selling these exclusively. There is no label inside the kaftan as these were made so quickly and selling so fast they didn't really have time to put a label in. And Peter can't exactly remember which boutique he bought it from of the two. The kaftan itself is front, front button fastened and it has got one 12 inch back vent. The sleeves themselves are pretty basic and the cuff shows no extra detailing. As you can see the kaftan has got the classic Nehru collar with two button front fastening. As I mentioned earlier Peter's kaftan was either purchased at Hong On You or Granny Takes a Trip. For a period of time in 1967, these kaftans were exclusively sold to both of these boutiques, but it wasn't long before all the other boutiques, especially the ones on Carnaby Street, started to cash in on this summer of love fashion accessory. The kaftans itself were soon snapped up by all the famous pop stars of the time. You can see people like Jimi Hendrix, Keith Richards, Keith Ralph, Bobby Elliott, members of the Move, all wearing the exact same kaftan that was worn by Peter Daltrey. some wonderful footage from Pathé where you've got some guy dancing around to some psychedelic music wearing the exact same kaftan as well. Join in a happening to the beat of the 117 group. Thing that I, I omitted in my description of the actual kaftan was the lightness of these kaftans. The Indian cotton, it almost feels like silk on your body and this would have been perfect for the bands of the time, especially in the summer, playing in those hot sweaty venues.
So I thought I'd let you know how I actually acquired this wonderful garment. In about 2012-2013 on Facebook I started a page called Psychedelic Clothing for Men and basically it was me talking about clothing and as the page started to grow its audience people started to help and participate on the page and this eventually got people on board including Peter Daltrey. Peter Daltrey started putting some exclusive pictures up of some of the clothing he wore back in the day including Granny Takes a Trip and the this particular kaftan. So when I plucked up the courage, once the dialogue started, I started asking him more personal questions about his time in Kaleidoscope and where and when he purchased these wonderful garments he wore throughout that summer period in 1967. So the important part of how I acquired this wonderful garment from around about 2012-2013, Peter Daltrey got a version of Kaleidoscope back together and did some sporadic gigs right up to when he did his last gig at Hoxton on the 11th of November 2017. I'd heard on the grapevine that once Peter Daltrey had completed all his gigs he'd be selling off all these garments that he wore in 1967. So I dropped Peter an email and mentioned that I was very interested in acquiring the kaftan. Peter made it very clear that he wanted the kaftan to go to a home where it would be loved and cherished and not sold on for financial gain. And I think through our dialogue he, he knew that with me it was going to the right place. And I made it clear to Peter once I did acquire the kaftan that at any point if he wanted it back I'd give it him back. And to this day that that is still how I feel with regards to the kaftan. I feel more like the fortunate custodian rather than the person that owns the kaftan. I remember the evening of Saturday the 11th of November 2017 when me and Susie went down to see Peter Daltrey complete his final gig with Kaleidoscope. I remember watching him throughout the gig wearing the kaftan and thinking that within a month or so this would actually be in my house and that was a surreal moment. Relax your eyes for after all we can the finished I managed to speak to Peter for a few moments and I got the um, album signed by him as well Tangerine Dream. So a couple of weeks after that gig I got an email from Peter saying that he was just about to post off the kaftan for me with a few extra bits and pieces so the actual package itself was posted to my works address so when it arrived I thought to myself that I wasn't going to actually open it at work I'd wait till I got home that evening so I got home from work, got cleaned up, sat down comfortable and I opened up the package. And when I actually got the kaftan out and just held it in front of me, it was just one of those moments again. It was just pure surreal and emotional. For about five minutes, I just had the kaftan in my hands, just, just staring at it, staring at the colours. Just couldn't believe how vibrant it all was. The kaftan actually looked like it had just been purchased that that day. So then curiosity got the better of me. I was well aware that such a garment was quite fragile and would it be a risk to actually put it on and would it actually fit me. I was very pleasantly surprised when I slipped it on and it fitted perfectly. It actually felt as if it was made bespoke for me. So once I knew that the actual kaftan did fit me I decided I wanted to get a few pictures of me wearing it. So that very evening, once Susie had got home from work, I got her to take a few photos of me wearing the kaftan. And since those photos were taken, I've only ever worn the kaftan once because I'm just too frightened that it will get damaged whilst wearing it outside. And 
to sign off this edition, I thought I'd play a track from Kaleidoscope's Tangerine Dream album, and most probably my favourite track off the album. Hope you all enjoyed the show and thanks for watching, and the next edition will be on the London Boutique Hung On You. Relax your eyes, for after all, we can but share these minutes. So she's a dedicated follower of fashion. Oh, yes, he is.